Nice. Bananas, then. Oh, sorry, is that where you were going to go? Yes. Oh, good. We are moving on to the banana. So, bananas. Uh, well, you know, fruit ripens pretty quickly in a fruit bowl. With bananas, when the stems are exposed, they... Um, uh, Ethylene is the, is the name of a gas that they produce that makes them ripen. So when the stem's exposed, that's why they ripen really quickly. So the that. best thing to do is just wrap the stem. We've got we've just cling film on there, but you can use anything. You can use tape or anything. If you do that... You can't use a coat hanger. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Why can't you cut the stem off? Because it'll still ripen. It'll still ripen because then it's, you're exposing the end for your, your yes-no game. That's the other end. Oh, is that the other end? Yeah, ah, that's where you've been going wrong. Ah, brilliant. So wrap one end, yes, no at the other. But that'll make it last for about up to two weeks longer. Really? And it does work. Wow. That's fascinating. Yeah. I'll try Hang that. on, let's, let's just... Have we got a knife up here somewhere? Let's use that. Let's, let's, that's a cheese knife, but let's see. I just want right. to see whether or not the banana thinks it's a good idea. Is the oh, banana yeah, nice. a good Do idea to wrap the banana in cling film to make it last longer? You went quite high up then. Is that you too went high? quite high up. Too then? high? You went too high. Low, low, to low. Black. Close, low, low. Let's see. No, it thinks it's a really bad idea. Oh, no. I think the other one, I think the other one said yes. I think it's a split do, result. For the, for the banana industry, it is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so the banana uh, would say that. That's a maybe. Yeah, the banana that, industry wants to go off, so you buy yes. more. Yes. OK. Glass. All right, so broken glass. Here we have a plate full of broken glass. Um, this is quite an old one, but it's a goldie. Um, using bread to pick up glass. Make sure you wear a glove, because mm. you don't want to go through the bread and hurt yourself. So you don't have to do this, but it does actually make it a bit better. You can put water on the bread and then just place it on top of the glass and give it a good press like that. And then when you pick it up, it'll have All a broken the glass bits. stuck to it. You have to keep going at it. And whatever you do, don't leave that on the worktop. No, straight in the bin. Kids and or someone or a dog. It doesn't or... go through and into your, into your glass. Uh, yes, absolutely, do. yeah, but it's quite okay. good fun. Finally, boiling an egg and then uh, peeling it, hard-boiled eggs, can be quite tricky. Mm -hmm. Now, this, I thought we'd do a bit of myth-busting here. This is... Baking soda, so bicarbonate of soda, not baking powder. If you put a teaspoon of baking powder in while you boil your egg, it's meant to... Baking powder? Sorry, baking soda. Baking if you put baking soda. soda, which is bicarbonate of soda, yeah. not baking powder, which has acid in it, yeah. then it's meant to make the egg easier to peel. So this one has been baked for eight minutes with baking soda, and this one hasn't. I thought if you two go against each other and see how easy it is yours? to crack... Yeah. Go for it, and let's see how much quicker it is. The reason being is that the baking soda makes the water more alkaline, which separates the shell from the egg inside. God, so, that smell we all know and love. Oh, yeah. Got wow. So I think, actually, Holly's is looking a little... Look. Um, a yeah. little easier. So Not by much. Some, Not by people, much. some people get mixed results with this. That's why I thought really? we'd test it out. But I think that's maybe proved oh. it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my least favourite smells. Is it? Is yeah, it yeah. Nice, is it? Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you like that. Very good.